you're at Fort Bragg. Is, uh, you, you choose to go special ops. 23 years you're in, so I'm assuming first three years you do boot camp, AIT, all the things you do. Three years later you join uh, special ops. Is that kind of how, how it happened? Uh, you know, I went to basic, um, you know, airborne. I went to ranger training, you know. So all of the advanced infantry training. Yeah. And then when I went to special operations, then that's, you Did know. Did you do special forces? Or you, special forces. Okay, and what was your MO? Uh, what did, were you in 18 Delta? Or I was you, 18 Bravo started, okay. 18 Fox, and then Zulu. Got it. Did you were you part of special ops with Delta or was it special more special forces? I was in uh, the unit for eight years. You were in the unit for eight yes, years. Yes, I oh, was a uh, direct support asset to the unit, yeah. conducting the uh, low vis reconnaissance. So basically, I was the guy who would go around uh, work with the CIA yep. at the uh, at the embassies. We will go and we will find, fix, and finish the enemy um, abroad. What were some places you were deployed? Yemen, uh, southern Thailand, Libya. Niger, I mean, you name it. I mean, we, we we were everywhere, you know, during the global war. What's the craziest situation you were in when you were in the military that you can talk about? You know, every mission's crazy, Patrick, right? Uh, you know, obviously the gunfights are always crazy, but that, that gets played out almost every day, you know, in, in, uh, in a war zone. Um, I want to talk about, like, okay, so Libya. Gaddafi, dictator, right? So he brainwashed these people. You couldn't even have a Western education. And there was this, uh, we, we call them sources, people that work for the Americans, that provides intelligence. And uh, he was working for us, and uh, he was a proud father. He had a beautiful daughter. She was very smart. And she wanted a Western education. You know, so he would secretly uh, get her these books and have her read, you know. And then one day the government came to their door and drugged their family out in the street, put them down on their knees. And um, they burned out her eyes. So those are some things that we see overseas, you know, that people will never understand. Um, so that was, those are the crazy things that we see is that people get tortured. You know, in today's society, people think that, you know, we live in America where everything is good and dandy and everything is nice, but in today's world, it's still savage. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.